It wasn't exactly a risky move for Al Gore to hold a Q&A at a conference for environmental journalists. Ending our dependency on fossil fuel, what do you see as promising areas of innovation and how do we bring them to significant commercial success? I think the big surprise coming here was that Al Gore was taking questions. He doesn't like taking questions, you know, he never takes questions. Fellow McAleer directed a documentary called Not Evil, Just Wrong, which challenged Al Gore's movie An Inconvenient Truth. McAleer was more than happy to take advantage of the opportunity to ask Gore about his movie. A judge in the British High Court, after a lengthy hearing, found there were nine significant errors. This has been shown to children. Have you, do you accept those findings, and have you done anything to correct those errors? Well, I'm not going to go through... Uh... Uh, all of those, uh, the, the, the ruling was in favor of the movie, by the way, and the ruling was in favor of showing the movie in schools. And that, that's, that's really uh, the, the, the bottom line on that. There's been such a long discussion of each one of those uh, specific things. Um, one of them, for example, was that polar bears, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time ago, that polar bears really aren't endangered. Well, the polar bears didn't get that word, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Well, the number of polar bears have increased, actually, and are increasing. You don't think they're endangered, do you? The, the number of polar bears have increased. Do you think they're endangered? Uh, the number of polar bears have increased. <laughs> I mean, All right. if, uh, the, I mean, if the number of polar bears inc increase, surely they're not endangered. Put the and, word and polar the judge, bear. A judge no, did no, have a lengthy it. hearing. We have to move on. No, but no, I mean, Vice yeah, President Tom. Gore hasn't... Vice, vice President... Ha We're not doing a debate here. No, this is a question. He hasn't answered the question. Wow. Vice we President have Gore ten hasn't minutes answered. left for these yes, people. Yes, but I would appreciate his answer to the court. After organizers cut McAleer's microphone... They later hey, confronted Tom. him in the hall. Q&A is involved A's. They do, but there's a limit to this. This is not a one-on-one -on -one interview. I asked there were, question, there I were 10 an people behind you I waiting to ask question, questions, too. An You're not allowed to monopolize I didn't monopolize it. I, was, I said, you need to please answer the question. No, no. And you got as much as you were going to get. No. McAleer says he was disappointed no, in the, the reaction from fellow journalists. <laughs> At the Society for Environmental Journalists, the reaction of the journalists, the action of Andrew Revkin of the New York Times, and the action of the journalists was to shut down the journalists and protect the politician. McAleer says environmental journalists should be more critical. He says instead, too often they act as cheerleaders for environmental causes. What I would like of environmental journalists uh, like myself is that you treat big environment the same way as you treat big politics and big government and big business. You know, treat. Treat, treat big environment the way you treat big business. Where does the money come from? Who's channeling it? Is that report independent? Where is the independent verification of those claims? But they don't. If, a journal, if an environmentalist organization says something, it's accepted as gospel. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.